Before you ask, yes, I am in the middle of watching the Vancouver Canucks blue versus white scrimmage at the time of recording this audio. It's a pretty good game. It's 1-0 right now. We'll recap and react to that game later in today's show. But in this video, I wanted to go over to the Philadelphia Flyers and start up a little bit of a trade conversation. We're talking today about Philly prospect Alexei Kolosov, a guy whom we did discuss in a video a couple of months ago, going over his strange situation with the Flyers as a whole. He was kind of ghosting the team, and it was really peculiar, very strange set of circumstances for a guy that does have some pretty interesting potential heading into the next few years, but either way, Kolosov is coming off of a year in the Lehigh Valley Phantoms organization. He had an 885 save percentage and a 303 goals against, but of course that pales in comparison to the 907 he had with Dynamo Minsk in the KHL and his 925 save percentage he had with the team in the KHL playoffs. Kolosov is a legitimately good goalie, and at 22 years old, there's a lot of room for him to go out there and get better. So, with him not reporting the camp and him potentially forcing a trade to go down, I wanted to go out there and visit this article published on Philadelphia Hockey Now by Jonathan Bailey. Here are the top Flyers trade destinations for prospect Alexei Kolosov. The article opens up by saying this, with Kolosov apparently deciding against reporting to the Philadelphia Flyers training camp, GM Danny Breer and co. are left in a bind. On one hand, the Flyers think very highly of Kolosov as a player and want him to honor the contract he had signed last offseason. On the other, Breer is led to believe that Kolosov wants to have a guaranteed place in the NHL. Otherwise, he'd return to the KHL and bide his time there. And with teams reportedly calling to inquire about Kolosov's availability, a Flyers trade might be the most amicable option for all parties involved. But which of those NHL teams would be willing to, or could, meet Kolosov's demands? Here are a list of five teams that could be the top trade destinations for Alexei Kolosov. But in this video, I really wanted to focus on two of them. Of course, you know, I'm here in Canada. We got to talk about the Canadian teams whenever they get involved in trade rumors. Let's go out there and briefly summarize the list. The fifth overall team that is listed as a potential Kolosov destination is the Minnesota Wild. The fourth team is the New Jersey Devils. The third team is the Ottawa Senators. The second team is the Chicago Blackhawks. And the first team is the Calgary Flames. Now, of course, because I do have a sort of focus on Canadian topics, I wanted to go over to 3 and 1, Ottawa and Calgary, starting out with the conversation that is written about here about the Sens. Bailey writes here that the Sens have been a logical Flyers trade partner for the better part of the last 14 months, and though nothing has come of the rumors that were out there, a deal between the two sides still makes some sense. There were a bunch of rumors about guys like Owen Tippett and a few other guys there, for example, goalies Anton Forsberg and Linus Allmark are each on expiring contracts. After swinging in a big trade for Allmark, you'd imagine the Senators make a strong effort to retain the former Vesna Trophy winner. As for Anton Forsberg, his only above-average NHL season came in 2021-2022 when he recorded a 917 save percentage through 46 games with Ottawa. That was the only time his save percentage exceeded a 910 at the NHL level. The Sens also lack notable goalie prospects, so a trade with the Flyers for Kolosov would give them a backup goalie for 2025 and a potential long-term successor for Linus Allmark. Ottawa has Nikolai Kuleman joining RTM Zub at training camp on a PTO, so the language barrier should be no issue there. Now that is a really interesting part of the conversation that I didn't even think about at the beginning of considering all this stuff. Nikolai Kuleman and RTM Zub. There's going to be no problems with translating Russian in the locker room. And I do like the point that is brought up here. If you wanted to consider the long-term projectability of the goaltenders in Ottawa, you don't really have that at the moment, considering Forsberg and Allmark are both on expiring deals. You have no idea if Allmark is even going to commit to Ottawa. Obviously, you would want him to, but because there isn't a guarantee, you can't really say that anything is set in stone. Same thing for Anton Forsberg. And if you wanted to go into the future and say, hey, we need a younger dude to be able to compete and help us grow alongside of Jimmy Stew, Brady Kachuk, Sanderson, 
and the like, Alexei Kolosov is 22, so he fits pretty much within the timeline that the Ottawa Senators are going to try to be competitive within. And for Kolosov, of course, we recognize that he is a good KHL goalie. Good KHL goalies who are young generally do have significant NHL potential, and the Ottawa Senators kind of lack goaltending prospects, so I do understand this link here. The question is, though, would the Ottawa Senators be willing to trade away whatever it is the Flyers would want to do? That's a conversation for another day. I wanted to switch over gears and head over to the number one team written about in this article, because what Bailey writes about the Calgary Flames is very intriguing too. All signs point to a Flyers trade with the Flames. Why? Let's connect the dots. Alexei Kolosov recently changed his representation, switching from J.P. Barry to Dan Milstein. Milstein represents Belarusian forward Igor Sharangovich and Russian sniper Andrei Kuzmenko, both of whom arrived in Calgary in the last 15 months. Oh, and Ilya Solovyov, a restricted free agent, plays for Calgary too. The only player blocking Kolosov from NHL playing time in the Calgary Flames organization is goalie Dan Vladar, who was nearly traded last season. Vladar, 27, has one year remaining on his contract at a $2.2 million cap hit as the Flames seek to give the keys to the car to top prospect Dustin Wolf. Calgary isn't exactly in a full-fledged rebuild yet, but at some point they have to start tearing down the drywall. A potential Flyers trade would give them a nice youthful one-two punch of Kolosov and Wolf in goal. And who knows, maybe Milstein will facilitate the KHL loan Kolosov wants while Calgary rides out the season with Fladar. On paper, the Flames appear to be the best fit for the Flyers prospect at this time. Now, that is a pretty great idea, especially when you consider the camaraderie, you consider what it is that Kolosov would be looking for in terms of finding comfort in an NHL organization. Not to say that the Philadelphia Flyers would not accommodate him in a proper way, but something must have happened or something maybe had went wrong when you consider the fact that the guy doesn't even want to report to camp. So if it's comfortability that's an issue here, he doesn't have enough guys that can help him assimilate into the NHL environment that he is within, maybe going to a team that's filled with a bunch of Russians like Calgary would be able to help him out in that respect. Andre Kuzmenko, of course, represented by Dan Milstein. A bunch of Milstein dudes were on the Canucks last year, one of whom actually happened to be on Calgary earlier in Nikita Zadorov as well. So Milstein definitely has experience connecting and having his clients be a part of the Flames organization is Kolosov, somebody that could be in that spot upcoming as well. Whether or not you could say the Flames are in a position to get another young goaltender because they do have Dustin Wolf in the pipeline remains to be seen. We know that Flames fans are super enthusiastic and optimistic for whatever it is Wolf will carve out for his NHL career, but it would never hurt to have another guy who is also trying to fight for a spot too. If long-term you have Wolf and Kolosov, both of them fighting for minutes and outdueling one another, then I think it could provide some pretty healthy competition and symbiotic growth for both of these guys and their profiles. So at the end of the day, if you're a Calgary Flames fan or an Ottawa Senators fan, I want you to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about the idea of acquiring Alexei Kolosov from the Philadelphia Flyers? Do you think a trade would work out? We can talk about the price and stuff in another video, but this is just sort of a preliminary idea. Do you think your teams would be good fits for this goaltending prospect? And if it is Kolosov that you end up penciling into your long-term plans, how does that make you feel? Are you confident in his game? Are you confident in his ability to grow and get better? He was pretty good in the KHL last season at 21, 22 years old, so I definitely do think there's optimism here, but... With the Philadelphia Flyers, that just doesn't exist since he doesn't really want to play with the team. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you're a Flames fan or a Senators fan or I guess a Flyers fan. What is it that you'd want from a Calgary team or an Ottawa team if it's an Alexei Kolosov trade on your hands? Thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this British Air Show 99. And bye.